Hey friend, welcome to my podcast, The Fit Soul. I'm your host, Amy Ramsey. In this podcast, we will be discussing soul-filled strategies to unleash your confidence, increase your energy, and all the things healthy lifestyle. If you're a Christian woman who is ready to reach your God-given potential, walk worthy of your calling with abundant joy and energy, girlfriend, you are in the right spot. I mean, you only have one life to live. You might as well maximize it. Buckle in and thanks for listening. Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to the Fit Soul Podcast. I appreciate you being here. If you're brand new to the podcast, I want to say welcome and thank you for joining me on this journey as I each week bring you episodes to help you in your midlife and beyond journey, to help you have a thriving midlife and to have that exceptional human experience I believe God wants us to have. He tells us that um, in John 10, 10, I came to give you life and life to the full. And so on this podcast, we, we talk about that, an abundant life spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, all the things, and how to create healthy habits around this, how to have the habits that mean the most and move the needle forward in your life. So, I'm so glad that you're here, and I think it's unofficially summer. It's not officially summer, but it's unofficially summer as um, that's kind of like the Memorial Day weekend, right, where it kicks off things, and my podcast episode today is <laughs> a story that happened last night, and I feel like you'll find value in this, and this will help you if you struggle with procrastination and oh, how to shift out of that and to actually get to the things that you need to get to. This is going to be a short episode, and then I'm going to come back with a little bit of a longer episode because can I just tell you right now, this week, whew, it has been it's been a great week. I'm not complaining, but there's just been several real struggles that happened this week. I'm going to do a full episode on it because I lost my keys and I found them. Long and short is, is we found them, but it took me about four to five hours of searching. Like I, I made myself cuckoo crazy. Have you ever lost anything? And you're like, I know it's around here. And I'm literally made myself nuts, batty, crazy. I would just have to stop and go, okay, you can't look for it anymore today. <laughs> I got like super obsessive compulsive over finding that because there were important keys. It was keys that had not only the, the, the keys to the car, and it had my dog's permits on 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 there to walk them on the beach. And I've been in trouble a couple times by the popo. If you're, by the way, if you are at on down on 30A, down at the beach, Fort Walton County, and you have your dogs out on the beach, you must have a particular permit. And this permit's kind of weird. Like you have to have it on you. So I have permits for the dogs, but there's been times I didn't have it on me or... Anyway, long and story short, I needed that, the, the dog's permits, because the, the popo's out there. And four to five hours was just gone. And then also, on top of that, I was doing something for Randy and picked up a, a Jeep for him. Oh my gosh, I wasn't going to go into this. Well, let me just real quick. Okay, so I was picking up a Jeep for him. And my girlfriend was precious and took me there. It was about 30 minutes away, but it was right in the middle of the work day when she could take me, which was awesome. I was so grateful that she could take me. But I've just, it's a, it's a busy week. There, I have got so many deadlines that are due this week, this particular week. So by the time this pod podcast is releasing, I'm actually recording this on Friday, the weekend before. And I've got a big launch for, um, 
a new midlife boot camp. O-M-G. I am so excited about this three-day virtual boot camp. And when you're doing things like that, launches, all all my business people are going to be like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot of work, y'all. It is so much work to get all the things pulled together to say, and guess what? I'm hosting a free workshop or I'm doing this or I have this program. There's so much work on the back, on the front end that goes into the whole just being able to say, hey, I'm doing this. So um, actually, this is a really good plug for that. Hey, (laughs) I've got a new three-day workshop. It is going to be amazing. And the reason why I am talking about procrastination is because some of that is indicative of how we are handling our mindset and what's going on. So back to the story of the Jeep. Oh, by the way, if you want to join this three-day virtual boot camp, we're going to be talking about mindset. We're going to be talking about how to um, to be able to assess your mindset. We're going to be talking, which I'm, I'm going really deep into that. And the reason why I did, decided to do three days on this is because some of this is emotional stuff. Like I'm going to talk about the five mindset, midlife mindset triggers. It can be emotional. And I've, I've had people tell me that when they've done my workshops, it's like, oh my gosh, I had amazing breakthroughs. It was a lot to process at one time. I agree. I'm going to break this baby up. Um, and I want to go deep and I want to give you tons of value. So all that to say, you're going to want to join this if you're looking to get into more action for your life, for your midlife and to uh, steward your time, your talents, your treasures, well, your health to optimize it, you're going to want to join this um, virtual boot camp. It's fire. I'm telling you, it is fire. So check the show notes on that and um, lots of prizes. Man, I, I'm up leveling, y'all. Whew, so we're, I'm, I'm a work in progress, but there's going to be a lot of prizes. I'm really excited about this. Okay, back to the Jeep. So my girlfriend, Precious, picked me up in the middle of the day. It was a work day. Okay, so it was a work day. And went over there to get the Jeep. And I stopped at some stores on the way back because I don't make it over that far out of t- town. You know how it is when you're like, oh, I'm on this side of town. Let me just go ahead and stop here. So I stopped in this very problem with that silly Jeep not starting, guess what? It didn't start. And now I'm, I'm hot. I have a whole bunch of stuff with me. And I need to get back. And I need to get back to work. So this was just yesterday. Well, the Jeep didn't start. They called a tow truck to pick it up. I had to call an Uber to get myself home. I was so frustrated because I was so behind. All that to lead into procrastination and how to overcome it. And I just want to share with, I'm going to go deeper into this in the boot camp, but I want to share with you something that happened last night and it was pretty powerful for me. So I had this kind of this crazy week, this frustrating day, and I had massive deadlines. And by the time it got to six o'clock, I was toast. And you know what I didn't do was my workout my strength training workout. Oh my gosh. And so I had this moment of, well, it was more than a moment. I was going to take and walk my dogs. That's what, what I do with, at the end of the, at the end of the evening, I take and I, I walk the dogs. They get ready for it. They are kind of ready to go. And I just needed to decompress. I was feeling super stressed. I just needed to decompress. And here's the, here's the problem. I needed to get a strength training workout in, okay? I needed to do that. Ladies, if you're over the age of actually 35, we're losing muscle pretty pretty quickly. And it's, so it was my goal this week to do three strength training workouts. And I'm sitting here looking at it. So so mind you, this is this episode is releasing after Memorial Day. This is leading up to Memorial Day weekend. I'm like, I need to get this done. I don't want to do it. I'm tired. 
<laughs> can you relate? Can you think of a time where there's something that you really needed to do, you had decided to do it, but then when the time came out, when it was time to do it, you're like, "Er, I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm whatever, all of, all of our things that we really are, I don't want to do it. And so I want you to think about that. Whatever your thing is, maybe yours is exercise. Maybe it's preparing for healthy, you know, foods. Maybe it's cleaning your house. Maybe it's whatever, fill in the blank. But it's that hard thing, okay? It's the hard thing. And I'm faced with this late in the day, very stressful day, and it's the hard thing. And here's the thing, walking is really healthy. So in my mind, I started to justify. (laughs) Any other justifiers here? Like, okay, we start to, you know, justify why it's okay not to do what my goal is. It's okay not to do it because it's been a tough day. Because I had that hiccup in the day and I had to work a lot later. That's okay. I had to rearrange my, I like to work out in the morning. I had to rearrange my entire day because of something that was absolutely out of my control. And um, therefore, now I'm off of my schedule. So that wasn't my fault. I'm justifying. I'm ready to compromise, quite honestly. And I, I do that, I do that more with food than I do my workouts. I'm, I'm very disciplined with my workouts. Um. But I always feel like, and I just want to share this with you as a teaching moment, there's always, with our health, there's always room for improvement. Always. We don't just get better habits. We don't evolve into, okay, yeah, now I'm, yeah, I've got these stellar habits. No. Unless we're focused on it and we're intentional and we're conscientious about our actions and, and what we're doing and how we're spending our time. No, we don't get better. We actually get worse if we're not even focused on it at all. So I'm in this moment. I want to tell you, I want to give you three tips of how to overcome procrastination. And it's more than just taking action. I mean, at the end of the day, okay, yes, if I want the desired outcome that I have this goal for, I've got to take the action to do it. But you know what? Our brain is powerful. And so what I want to share with you is a mindset strategy to, to stop. Because here's what I did last, this was last night. Number one, I acknowledged. I acknowledge, so this is, this is all mindset based. Okay. The first part of this, I acknowledged my frustration. I acknowledged that I was tired. It had been a hard day. It had been a frustrating day. And I sat in this moment of, I really just don't want to do this workout. I want to go walk. I sat in that moment and went, this is frustrating. Now it's late and it's really late in the afternoon. My whole day has been thrown off due to circumstances that I had zero control over. But I still crushed the things that I needed to do today. And so that's good. But right now, I don't want to go do that workout. So I acknowledged it. And then I started to work with my brain. And this is what I want to really teach you is, number one, understand what is going on in your mind. Your brain wants to keep you safe, and it doesn't want you to get uncomfortable. And so in this moment for me last night, I was actually so tired and as a little triggered from the day. And... I just needed to acknowledge those feelings. But I know the outcome that I want. I'm really determined to stick with my goals. And if you're really determined to stick with your goals and to create automatic routines, which is just a habit, create places to where it actually becomes easier later, It's hard now, but it will become easier if you just stick with it a little longer, right? And create that consistency. So I'm like, okay, acknowledge it, 
I'm frustrated. I acknowledge the internal dialogue. And then this is, this is the powerful part. And then I had to disrupt it. I had to have a conversation with myself instead of listening to myself. And here's the conversation I had. Yes, you're tired. Yes, you've had a tough day. But what do you want here, Amy? What do you want in the long run? Can you compromise and skip this workout? Sure, you can. But you're not going to be able to really go back and get it later this weekend. And you said that you were going to do this. Are you going to keep the word you, you said, your goals, or not? And so for me, it came down to integrity. I want to be a woman that keeps my word to myself. I am a woman that keeps my word to other people. That's who I am. But you know, it's with myself. It's where I'll compromise. And I bet you're the same way too. And that doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel right to our soul. And, and, and then when we allow the compromises to take place, and I want you to think in yourself, whatever that compromise may be, whatever it is, maybe it's too much it's excessive scrolling. Maybe it's um, unhealthy eating patterns. Maybe it's excess alcohol. Maybe it's excess caffeine, um, too much shopping, whatever, whatever that thing is. It doesn't feel right to us. And so I love this definition of discipline. Discipline isn't fun. There's no sexy way to dress up. Oh, this is going to be great. No, discipline is not fun. But here's, here's a definition that I really liked. And this is what I asked myself last night. What do you want most over what you want now? What do I want most over what, what I want right now? And I know how a temptation works. I know how, a, how to disrupt a cue. Um, I know how to disrupt a craving. I'm ready to compromise. I don't want to do the workout. I'm procrastinating. I've been procrastinating. I'm ready to make excuses of why I don't need to do it, need to do something else. But I want you to hold in your, your heart, in your hand, whatever it is that you're not doing that you want to do and that you should be doing, quite frankly. So in that moment, I disrupted the pattern. I started um, thinking through my internal dialogue. I purposed on what do I want most over what I want now? You know what? And then I started talking to myself, Amy, it will literally take you 20 minutes. Your workout is 20 minutes long. That's it. It's not a long time. So now I'm like, okay, I can do this. So I chose, I made a decision at that point. So I, I want, I just, I'm hanging out here in this mindset piece because that's the easier place to understand what to disrupt and what to challenge in that moment so you will get an action. Which brings me to tip number two is action, is to take action. Now, I coach a lot of women uh, on on healthy, healthier lives, right? And one of the things that if you consistently bump into not taking the action, I love James Clear's response to that. He calls it the two minute rule. He said, just go take action for two minutes. Make it a little bit simpler, whatever the process is, but take some form of action. Okay. So I did, I re I I shifted, I shifted that my dialogue I made a decision, and then I went into action, and then I started my workout. And guess what? Here's here's tip number three. Tip number three is, here's the thing. When that workout was done, no joke, it it took me less than 20 minutes. And it was not easy. It was not an easy workout, but it was done so quickly. I was like, dang, Why did I procrastinate? Like, now it's done, it's over. But here's what I want to tell you. After I finished it, oh, that feeling. I felt amazing. I felt like I could accomplish anything. You know that feeling 
when you did something, you did it hard, you didn't want to do it, it is an incredible feeling of accomplishment. I did it. I literally was so excited. I was so dang proud of myself. So tip number three is this, is to celebrate. Here's the thing. The way we build a habit in the brain, a habit loop is a cue, a craving, a response, and a reward. I'm not going to break this down. I'm going to go over this. I've been talking about this about this a lot right now with my Walkworthy mentorship where I help them build healthy habits. So we dive deep into that. And um, that is a group where I, I coach them every day to help them gain mastery over the habits that matter most. And that this is what it takes is that consistency piece. This is where most people fall off. They don't have the right guidance and mentorship to help them Keep keep going, pull them higher, call them higher, challenge them, encourage them, motivate them. So we've been talking a lot about that. So I don't have time to break all that down right now, but here's what I want you to, the last piece of this is celebrate, is the fourth part of the habit loop is a reward. What is rewarded in the brain, which i.e. you celebrate the victory, what is rewarded is repeated. So when you reward yourself, your brain releases hormones that make you feel happy, that make you feel, that's that accomplishment that you feel, that joy that you feel like, oh, I did it. And then if you learn to celebrate yourself, acknowledge the good, be excited about that feeling, pat yourself on the back. Listen to this. What is rewarded is repeated. So celebrate. You're, you're telling your brain, hey, let's do this again. And here's the thing. I want you to do it again. And then you do it again. So how to overcome your patterns of procrastination. There's other tips to this. But the main thing that I want to share with you is how to disrupt that pattern in your mind. Number one is your mindset and how to disrupt the pattern and choose discipline. Number two is take action, even if it's just a little bit. Remember James Clear's two-minute rule. And number three, celebrate. Like for realsies, celebrate yourself. Okay, I hope this was helpful. I know I went a little bit long on that mindset piece, but I'm telling you, it's in the mind. Um, As a man thinketh, so he is. Your thoughts in your mind are powerful. Your thoughts produce your feelings and your emotions. And if you want a different outcome, a better outcome, then you have to really, you have to take your thoughts, as the scripture says, take each thought captive. This is how we start to do it. Okay? So anyway, I want to say thank you for being here. Let me know if this was helpful to you. And if you you want more of this, I'm going to break down the five mind, midlife mindset triggers. We're going to go a little deep with that. If you know you've been feeling stuck in your mindset and you haven't figured out how to like overcome it, maybe you're making a little bit of progress but not much, I'm going to teach you how to get to the root of the problem and how to change that. So you don't want to miss that. So go ahead and sign up for it. That is going to be, it starts on June 10th. I'm going to encourage you to show up live for those. We're giving away some great stuff. And also, I want to encourage you to to sign up. Hang on, I lost my train of thought. (laughs) Does that ever happen to you? I want to encourage you to sign up. Oh, and hit reply. Or and share this. Gosh, if you would share this and share that boot camp, that would be amazing. That's what I was working so hard on this that past week. Um, you know, I'm recording this on a Friday morning. So this week, holy smokes, man, lots of preparation has gone into this. And it's to provide so much value, so much service 
for you. I want to see you thrive in your life. I want to see you get unstuck. I want to see you achieve your goals. I want you to push hard. I want you to walk worthy and walk walk in excellence. Oh my goodness. I, I'm certain this is what the scripture tells us to do. And um, okay, well, that's it for today. Happy summer, unofficial summer. Join that three-day virtual boot camp. Share it with a friend. And if you enjoyed this podcast, let me know. I would love to hear from you. And then also, I love it when you share it on social media. All right. See y'all next time. Bye, friends. Girlfriend, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. I'm so honored you come back every week and that you share the Fit Soul podcast with your friends and family. Every time you share my podcast on Instagram or Facebook, I do a little happy dance. Make sure you subscribe to the Fit Soul podcast where you'll never miss an episode. You can go to podcast, Apple, Stitcher, and Spotify and subscribe so you'll never miss an episode release. And just know, I truly love bringing you excellent content and great guests to provide you motivation and faith inspiration to help you walk worthy. And one of the ways you can help me is to go and leave the Fit Soul Podcast a review. If you have just a moment, would you please go over and leave a review for the Fit Soul Podcast? Thank you again. I love you. And here is your reminder. You are worthy. Until next time. Bye-bye.